Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Denver Nuggets complete mess of a season from the guys from Colorado. Before I get into that though, just a quick uh, quick shout out or quick reminder that over the next week, I'm going to be giving an uh, opportunity for you guys, the listeners of the Red Rock Fantasy Basketball Podcast, to enter into the Red Rock Dynasty Basketball League. The details will be announced on YouTube with a video coming in the next week uh, with all the information about the league and how you guys can enter. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the, the YouTube channel and uh, you'll see more info on that coming in the next week. Enough of that for now though. Let's talk Denver Nuggets. And as I said, it was a strange season. Brian Shaw was completely inept in his job as coach and it really affected the fantasy value of most of his players. Not all of them. Most of them though. And then we saw the change when Brian Shaw finally got fired Melvin Hunt came in, and the fortunes of a few players changed. We saw Kenneth Fareed, star, he, his star rose. Danilo Gallinari, his star shot through the roof. Ty Lawson, Yusuf Nurkic, not quite as positive for those guys. Lawson was a guy who started off the season remarkably well, dropping 10 dimes pretty much every game, but just could not get it going in the second half of the season, only averaging less than 12 points in that last month of the season. He actually fell outside the top 100 for rankings there. His assists were still okay, but he couldn't shoot the ball, was struggling to hit three-pointers, and the future of Ty Lawson is definitely up in the air with the rumors coming out that he wants to trade if the Nuggets are going to be looking at, uh, at blowing it up and rebuilding. He wants out. I don't think I'd be taking top Ty Lawson in the top 50 next season. He's just he's a points guy. He's an assist guy. He gives you some steals. Not not a very well-rounded player, and um, we saw that big regression under Melvin Hunt in the different offensive system. Danilo Gallinari, a completely different situation. He was coming back from that ACL injury that caused him to miss the 2013-14 season. Came back, looked definitely rusty, which is to be expected. We, we expect that, someone coming back from a knee injury. Then had another sort of knee setback in January. Came back, new coach, absolutely flying. He was the 20th ranked player the last month of the season. He was just bombing threes. He was hitting about 50% over the last couple of weeks. His field goal percentage was through the roof, hitting almost three triples a game, almost 20 points, giving assists, rebounds. He was a great roto player, inside the top 20 roto player in that last month of the season as well. And he's a guy that, before his injury, he was a consistent ranking 50, 55, 54, 52 in the seasons before that either in Denver or even in New York. And I think he gets back to that sort of level because we saw that the, the system that Melvin Hunt was running was really playing to his strength. So I think Danilo Gallinari, fully healed, which he should be after this long layoff from the ACL, is going to be a very decent player for the next three to four seasons. Like Gallinari, Kenneth Fareed, um, disappointed early on, but came on strong late. Now, his disappointment was, was to do with him as a player, but mainly to do with the way that the coach was using him. And Brian Shaw had no idea what he was doing with him. Playing guys like Darrell Arthur over him, JJ Hickson over him, three playing such minimal minutes. He only ended up playing 28 minutes a game for the season, but that's because he was getting 30 plus to down the stretch with Melvin Hunt in charge, and he was putting up big numbers. Now, I don't really love Ken Freed as a fantasy player. He seems to be a points, rebounds, field goal percentage guy to me. He can get some decent steals, probably doesn't get enough blocks, but we saw him improving. The one thing I'm worried about is that he's done this two years in a row. Slow start, big finish. Slow start, big finish. If it happens again, it's going to be a, you know, does this guy not come in prepared? Is he overweight in the preseason? All those sort of things will come out. And we're hearing, along with Ty Lawson, that he wants out if there's a, a rebuilding situation in Denver. I'm not going to be spending a high pick on him in fantasy drafts. I'm not going to be targeting him in dynasty leagues. So I think that the hype will definitely, uh, definitely outstrip the return, much like it did this season. I'm just not sold on him being a great fantasy player. One guy who I am a huge fan of is Yusuf Nurkic. He struggled with fouls. He struggled with coaches, both coaches, but his per 36 numbers were amazing. Dynasty leagues, I'd be all over getting Nurkic because the potential is there. In two to three years, we could be seeing a real star, in, we'll say a star in the making, I think, with Yusuf Nurkic. Don't forget... Follow me on all the social media areas, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's buttons all over the place. You know, they're up, down, sidewards, wherever. Subscribe to those. Leave comments. Let me know what you think. And stay tuned for the, the, the Red Rock Dynasty League announcement. See ya.